Okay, CREB has their stats out now um, for the end of January and is up over 20%. That's amazing, hey? CIR is up over 20%. It's fantastic. I'm not surprised by that. Um, no, and it's, you know, of course, of course, <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. Yeah. Um, we're so excited um, that things are positive signs of recovery. I kept saying, I haven't seen the numbers yet. I can't comment until I see the numbers. But it's actually happening, and even in our absorption rates and months of inventory, um, it's happening right now. Uh, what have you seen out there in the marketplace? Well, you know, I've got a, I'm working with a new agent, and I took her out and shadowed her, basically, or she shadowed me with doing some showings Friday morning. And you know what I, what I did notice? These were condos, um, just that there's not a lot of great product on the market. So for those of you who are listing, you know what, just put a little bit of effort into it. Do the professional photos, do the staging, do the, the feature sheets that we've got offered here at CIR. You know, some of those little things make your listing really shine above the others. And I, yeah, it was easy to see the better listings Friday morning. The other thing we're seeing, there's some multiple offers still, I mean, there's some multiple offers happening. The managers are working with our agents on those. and. Yeah, don't listen to the media and the doom and gloom and everything else. I, I want to say, you know, basically follow, follow through with your business plans. Do nice. it cautiously and conservatively. Yeah. Stay the course. Keep at it. And that's, yeah. something, that's something we're going to talk about later, too, is, is just trust the process. Yes, Trust absolutely. the process. People are buying. The confidence is happening again. There's probably some pent-up demand. Um, exactly. But, but we're, we're seeing things stabilize, as you'll see, in terms of the number of listings. They're not ramping up again and the sales are sort of starting to mitigate that. So people are out there, despite this glorious snowy weather, yeah. um, people are out there. Um, okay, well let's have a look at the numbers. And the price of oil staying actually quite flat again. Um, you know, it's up 53.82, up from uh, 53.11 last week. And the Canadian dollar again, you know, fairly stable, dare we use the word stability, um, 76.70, up slightly from 76.06 last week. And in terms of listings, Metro Calgary, pretty flat again, not much change. I guess we're up one. And in Red Deer, fairly flat again. It's down about 12, but not a substantial change. And that's what we're starting to see is these sales are starting to offset the number of listings coming on. Um, so the net gain isn't quite as much. Um, as for the months of inventory, uh, again, green across the board on this one. We're starting to see some big changes. 4.18, which is bringing it almost down to a balanced market. So 4.0 being a balanced market. So anything over 4 being a buyer's market. Still in a buyer's market, but gosh, this is changing quick. Single family homes, well in the middle of a balanced market at a 0 0.66, sorry, up, down 0 0.66 from the previous week. And condos, everything moving in the right direction here. Um, down to 6.29. And surrounding areas, Okotoks were down 6.96. Cochrane were down as well, 8.77. You know, I want to mention Sundry and our data on this. We really need to, um, I don't want our realtors to pay too much attention to the Sundry numbers here because we've got some work to do on, on um, making that data be more relevant. So. We're going to work on that. Sorry, guys, we're going yeah, to get that. There's probably less than five years of inventory yeah. right now in Sundry. So, um, so ignore that number, definitely. We're going to have that corrected next week. Yeah. Apologize for that. But again, Airdrie and Strathmore, both down. Um, so everything moving in the right direction, I think. And Kreb published new benchmark price. Give us that. New benchmark price, 437.4. Nice, nice. So I just want to go back to your condo thing for a second because you know, Ninja talks about this pond. And how the, the great properties just flow through at the top of the pond. Yeah. And what's interesting is you'll start to see the properties that don't look so good float to the bottom and become the sludge, which will actually help the other ones even sell. So, good point. Little bonus tip here. Um, what would you suggest as a realtor listing a condo right now in terms of helping their client prepare it based on what you've seen? Yeah, so based on what I saw on, on Friday morning, the ones that stood out to us were the, were the condos that were well staged, had the brochures, color brochures sitting on the counter, the condos were clean. Nice. And, yeah, and right away the client was walked in, looked around, and you could see her body language was just, so yeah, put some effort into your listings, and they're the ones that'll stay on the top and flow through. Awesome, 
Awesome. Thank you so much for that.